All right, man, let's move on to some football camera, man. NFL owners have officially voted to ban the hip drop tackle. Okay. From the sport on Monday after the annual league meetings, according to the NFL, here's a definition of the hip drop tackle. The tackle in question is a swivel technique in which a player grabs a runner with both hands and wraps the runner with both arms and outweighs himself, unweighs himself by swiveling his hips and dropping his hips and or lower body, lower landing and trapping the runner's legs underneath his knees. Pause. It just all like of that. You, you got to pause. Like all of that. For sure. All of that. <laughs> Swiveling the hips. All of yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Hip drop tackle. Being out. I ain't heard that much game. hip since pumps in a bump. <laughs> all right, my bad. Go ahead. Oh, my God. I just ain't been able to talk in two weeks, y'all. In the video. Shit, which video? Pump. Pumps in a bump. Hammer had the speedo on. Pumps in a bump. Wild now. video. Yeah. Go ahead, my bad. Yeah. yeah. I like that video. Oh man! <laughs> <you real? laughs> so that's the wrong video to say. Right, right, you like, hammer is dead, dead ass, ass in underwear. <laughs> Damn. The whole video. Yeah. Gyrate. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, whoa! Hip drop tackle being yeah. banned. Yeah. Big deal, yeah. little deal, or no deal what for you, defense. Yeah, what you got, Weez? Yeah. Uh, I think I think it's horrible for the NFL. Uh, because pretty much what they're saying is they don't want you to tackle anybody from behind. <laughs> tackle anybody from behind. I'm, I'm with you. So, and, 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 here, and here's the thing. So, if the quarterback gets free and goes on a run, and the defensive lineman comes up and try to tackle him backwards, they are. I, I don't know what this defensive lineman is supposed to do. Yeah. You can't put too much body weight on them. That's a that's a penalty. Yeah. You can't sling them down. That's a penalty. And now you can't you can't drag them down to the ground. That's a penalty. And that, and they already don't wrap up in the NFL today. They make the big hit. It's tough. So. Take the over on the over, because it's going to be a lot of points scored. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Well, I think the NFL did some for real research, and they found out that the injury rate is 20 to 25 times higher than any other tackle. So, in turn, if you want to keep Mark Andrews in the game, J.K. Dobbins, mm -hmm. um, Bradley Chubb. Is it Bradley Nick, Chubb? Nick, Nick Chubb. Chubb. Yeah, Nick Chubb. Dude, you the players, sometimes you have to save – players from themselves. Mm -hmm. Of course, the NFL PA didn't want this to get banned, but if you look at and you ask Nick Chubb, if you ask J.K. Dobbins, they all said, I'm going to be real, it cost me X amount of money. Mm -hmm. I think it should be. You know, so man, if it was up to the NFL PA, we'll still be looking at LT and Mike Singletary mm -hmm. type hits. Mm -hmm. So in turn, they still want to play football like that and that shit is done. The NFL is protecting their investments, which is their players, mm -hmm. and if it's a 20 to 25% upcharge and fucking Injuries because of said tackle. Let's get it out of here. But at, at, at the same time, if they really want to, if they really want to protect their investments, they'll spend a little brain and get grass fields. Yeah, but well, that, that's that, the that's who. But see, but, that's but, not really that's protecting the investment, but it's no, also protecting. That's protecting. That's protecting. You just said it last last year. They need to get grass fields. Yeah, they do. So if they get grass fields, they spend a little money to get grass fields. That protects injuries. That's but, nice. But what they're not doing is how does it not protect the injuries? They making money off this because they now they can find you off every off every illegal hit. Yeah, well that's just trying to. They're just trying. I'm to just saying they make money. It's protecting. Them. They're like, here to make money. Anything. Go. This is one of those things where if you're an offensive player, you love it. If you're a defensive player, you hate it. Because like Mitch, Weezy mentioned, sometimes that's just going to be a natural reaction to, to take somebody down. Yeah. But at the same time, this is why the NFL defenses need to get back to the fundamentals of wrapping up and tackling, not trying to always make the big hit. If you watch NFL games now, you see so many guys score and break tackles because when the defense is not doing them, just run up and just hitting them with their arm. Nobody's wrapping up as much anymore. So that's why you see so many yards being gained on offense from wide receivers and running backs. But as a defensive player, you're putting yourself in the bind, like we just mentioned, because it's like, okay, it's almost – if I'm not straight in front of you to wrap you up, it's like how I'm, what I'm supposed to do. Yep. So it's a gift and a curse. Okay. I like that, Coach, but not to get on the high horse. The pushback to that would be, though, yeah, they do go for the big hits. You know why they kind of go for those big hits, though? It's because of the lowering the, the crown penalties, the crown of the helmet penalty. So if I'm going in to do a form tackle and I'm dropping my head and driving up like we were taught in Pee Wee football – that could be helmet to helmet contact. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to avoid that by doing a shoulder tackle or trying to hit or do a, drop, a hip drop tackle, as they call it, right? To avoid that penalty. So now one of my things about this that I didn't that I didn't like is that 
these last season and a half, two seasons, defense has finally caught up to offenses. And those scores start going back down. Yeah. And they start to be more of a competitive game. You had to lean more on your running game instead of sitting, sitting back and your yeah. quarterback throwing darts for 30 or 40 yards every yeah. damn game. Yeah, because you got to back to football. Yeah, you have to learn how to adjust. That's all it is, Jeff. Yeah, It'll exactly. take two years. Yeah, It'll just be an adjustment that. time. But, you know, but it's just, just like everything but else. But they're tweaking. When's the last tweak for defenses? There is not. Yeah, they have. Yeah, no. They they've called more um when you pushing off the line of offense. Pass, pass interference. Yeah, offense. They allow a tush push. That was been illegal for yeah. my entire since I've known yeah. football. Should have, another that, player yeah. should have played a four has yeah. been illegal. They are allowing that every yeah. game. Yeah, they bro. pushing piles for yeah. sure. Now. They did not do that. That's tough. They simulated this they simulated this two hundred and thirty tackles. They they simulated two hundred and thirty times. It only happened twenty three times. Which, what are you talking about? The drop tackle? The drop tackle. That's, we're still 20 25% of the injuries, though, as far as injuries this year. So if you have that spike of a number, 20 to 25% of anything, dog. If there's a, a damn COVID outbreak and then it shows one space that got 20 to 25, that's bro, a high yeah, it's a high that's a lot. It's four. It's high. Almost a four. It's a lot, bro. Full sport Prince, you know them boys. Jay run the point, locked for three. And me, I crashed the boys. Weezy told you that it's paid for.